Hey guys, straight back. Um, this is my mining and smithing guide. Um, there's going to be a few different, a few different ways that we'll go about it. Either, um, yeah, like whatever way. I'll show you all the different locations that I think are pretty good and that shouldn't be too populated. Um, and by using two quests to get um, a uh, knight's sword will get you I think 20, 29 smithing or 30 smithing once you've done it um, and Doric's quest will get you uh, I forgot what binding but for both of them unless you um, at least for Doric's quest um, you can buy the ores for it, but I'm going to be showing you how to get to 15, um, 15 mining and 15 smithing. Um, my mate Hands is coming along for the ride, but we're lagging pretty bad right now. Here he is. Um, so hopefully we can stay in, but we've been getting DC'd heaps the last like 20 or 30 minutes. That's all. Um, you should, you should get a pickaxe when you first started. I'll just make sure, make sure hands has got one. Oops, I didn't read. Okay, we'll go to um, first mining, first few mining spots. Um, we'll probably start in Brock, so we can go past the bank to get Hans's um, pickaxe, and he's got to get 15 mining and smithing to do the quest. I need to get my smithing up, but um, we'll be going this way. Um, yeah, so we'll meet you back at Varrock when we have his pickaxe. On the way through, I thought I'd show the obvious one. This, I reckon, will be probably the most packed one. Got good selection of copper, tin, and iron ore. Nice and close to the bank, but, but there should be, I reckon there'll be a lot of people here. But if you can get a spot here, great, nice and close to the bank. Let's keep going. Well, we're here at the next spot, southwest of Varrock, which is another pretty good spot. Has a fair few ores. I'll get him. got to get um, hands is mine the mining will take no time to get up but the smithing might be a bit more so I thought it'd help him out um, while we're talking about that if it is too hard to get any rocks it could just be better to go straight um, and mine just s or pure essence depending on what what level you get up to um, <laughs> I'm still at all these rocks. This is not going to be happy. I'll take these ones over here. Over there will be fine. Um, yeah, you can mine pure essence. You're not going to be able to get your smithing level up to do the knight's sword, which will give you, get you about 30 um, smithing, which is pretty awesome. It's probably one of the best rewards in free to play. Um, so I definitely, um, yeah, so definitely do that, I reckon, but if not, you can always just do pure S 
and then until you get your mining level up a bit more um, and then you can mine um, all the ores needed for um, Doric's quest um, okay we'll move on to the next spot now once I get a full list and we'll go bank it and I'll show you the next spot okay here's the next spot um, I've got hiccups actually there's copper, tin and some coal I'm pretty sure these are some coal here I could just mine one. Yep, that's coal. So that's a nice, that's a nice little spot. Just in Barbarian Village. Let's head on to the next one. Okay, this is the next part, the Dwarven Mines. You can also get in wh where you start the um, Okay guys, this is the one of the entries to the Dwarven Mine. You can get in from where uh, from where you get the Dwarf Cannon from. Um, and also, if you have 60, um, also if you have 60 mining, you can get in over there. Now, there's Addy, there's everything through here. Myth copper, iron, sorry about these hiccups, they're driving me insane, yeah, coal right, right through here, which is good, always hard to find coal, especially in this free to, when we only get free to play in 2006, escape areas, now if we just keep going a little bit further, Is this the, I think this is the guy that sells the axe and the pigs or is it the others? No, so this guy does and it must be the one over here. Plenty of ores to mine over this side, and I don't think it's aggressive over this side. But up the other end, you've got scorpions, so yeah, it's from this guy. You can buy your room pick pickaxe, 32k, I think it is. You could also, if you're mining, always sell to the general store here. We'll see what he's got in there right now. Seems that you can't actually. <laughs> and he here it is 32k for it, and 3.2k for Addy, 1.2k for Myth. Just in case you need to know, I've only got a few more spots, a couple in the wilderness to go. Um, that will about wrap it up. I thought I'd just show you this spot, guys. You'll probably need a higher combat because it is aggressive in here, but it does have a lot of good um, rocks in there. Is that even adamant? Yeah, it is. I didn't even know that was here. Um, you got coal, you got a myth one over there, you got everything here. Um, you just gotta watch out for the skeletons because they are aggressive and they will get you, but you can get down here and it's not too far from the bank at all. This is just in Edge Dungeon. I'll run out a little bit. You'll know once I get to the Slayer Master whereabouts I am. I'd show you on the map but it doesn't it doesn't actually show down in the dungeons here this thing 
he's a slayer master, so you should know, should know roughly where I'm talking about. And that's Chaos Jewels in there, so you should get the guess where it is. On to the next spot. Okay, we're back. This is another place which I think is really good, especially um, in this server. Um, there is no skeletons, which is even better. That's what I was gonna say. The the bad thing about here was skeletons, but here there's as much coal as you want. Like it's probably almost as good as the um, mining guild. Maybe a tiny little bit further from the bank, but no 60 requirement for it, and more coal rocks than you'll ever be able to mine here. It is a great spot. Um, I'm not sure if they're all going to update it on here and um, room rewind. They might. Um, I'm pretty sure 2006 gate, there will be skeletons here which will make it slightly more annoying especially if you're a lower level probably bring some food but there are plenty of places where um, you can trap them same here and stuff like that um, and just get them stuck and just keep working around the rock like that but yeah great place I'll show you on the map whereabouts we are we're just here so not that far from edge just a short little walk there, under a minute, um, and you've got as many as many coal rocks as you can mine here. On to the next spot. Okay, we're here at the next spot. This is just north of um, Edgeville, where the Zamorak Mage is for the Abbeys. You've got three coal here and three iron but this actually does have the skeletons already here which I know in 2006 escape they will be over there and I'm sure soon they will be um, in this server as well so it's a bit more of a pain but you can still do it especially if you have a bit more of a high combat level it shouldn't bother you at all one or two food and um, you'll be set nice and short to the bank take no time to get there, just get away from him and I'll show you on the map. We're just there, and there's Edge, so you can see how close it is, to even closer to that one. So that's another great mining spot where I'm sure there'll be a lot less people, and doubtful PKs will be out there, if anything they're going to get some ores bring one or two food and you'll be able to just run. Um, on to the next one. Okay, for the next spot, this is, I reckon, one of the best kept secrets. I'm sure not too many people actually know that this is out here. Um, we are pretty deep in the wilderness, but once again, you got your pickaxe, who really cares? Um, once you get up a bit higher levels, there is a lot of addy four rocks and there could even be more I haven't went right around checked is that even more yep more added so up to nine there's um plenty of coal myth yeah stacks loads of myth iron as well you got yeah everything out here that you need um if you had um 55 mages it for superheat item Oh uh, no, that's high elk. I think it's even lower. No, I don't know. There it is. 43. With a few gnats and a fire stuff, you could stay out here even longer, especially making addy bars. That'd work out, or even myth, work out pretty good. Or another solution I have, I'll show you on the map. We are right there. And if we go over there, we can actually smelt it which I reckon is worth it. It's a lot quicker than running back and forth, back and forth. And especially when it first opened, or even now, in Rune Rewind here, um, there aren't PKs. 
or if they are, they, I don't know, they're, they're not going to be doing too much. And they can come get you bars. So just a short walk from where we were. We can smelt. Which is quite handy. Being able to walk away with 27 or so myth or addy bars in one trip will add up pretty nicely. Um, and I'm sure it's a lot quicker, to, especially with the Addy. Um, there's, yeah, not too many other places where there's that much Addy. I don't think that is the most Addy there. So that's good. And if you want to even take it the next step further, you could go to the ruins over here. Just there. Um... I'm not too sure actually if you could see my mouse, I should probably check that. But over the ruins you can see more in the middle there. Um, yeah, that's where you can actually smith it. And if you take next step and you had high up ruins, you could just stay out here. And just keep doing lap after lap and then maybe bank every now and then. You don't want to be losing all your loot like that. but. You could make some serious cash just by staying out here. Um, I won't even bother going up to it, but we should all know that there's rune rocks there. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna put into the guide the, the rocks right up in the members section. Um, yeah, I don't. Like, if you had super heat item, very good, because there's an anvil there. There's a mage bank just there. So, very quick. More chance of PK, so... But, once again, at the start, not so much. Um, yeah, on to the next spot. Okay, so we're back. <coughs> at Rimington Mine here. Um, I'm actually just mining what I need for Doric's quest which is actually have it up six clay two copper and two iron ore so we'll get six of the oops Didn't mean that one. Okay, six. There, let's go get the final. May as well get that one here. Okay, off to the next mine. Okay, so we're approaching the second last mining spot. Once again, another another really good mining spot. Which, I'm not too sure how many people still remember down here. We're in Lumbridge Swamp. In the middle down there, so it's a bit of a travel. But still, nevertheless, worth it. What's this we got? That Addy is it? Yeah, Adam and I didn't even know that was a myth rocks here. Um, and I was just doing some quick calculations. If you only want to do um, the um, Dorix quest, um, the easiest probably way is 483 rune essence you have to mine which that shouldn't take that long and then you're ready to mine the iron 
Um, if not, if you have a friend that can mine iron, you can do it almost straight away and get the get up to I think it's about maybe 10 or so um, 10 or so mining, which is a pretty good head start. But I'd still recommend to do if you 138 copper is going to get you to 15 mining, um, but then you need the smithing to get to smithing which I'd actually recommend 14 smithing and use a dwarven stout it's gonna take a hundred and thirteen um, smelted um, bronze bars turned into something so it's gonna take a hundred and thirteen of copper and tin ore which that's a bit but that will get you 15 smithing you'll be able to smith your iron bar for the knight sword and um, get some mad XP there. I'll take you off to the last spot um, where we're going to go then I'll probably finish it up around that but I'll leave some de in the description the two links I'm going to do the two quests um, yeah I'll give you walkthroughs for it make it nice and easy. Okay, let's go to this next spot okay we're here at the last one in Al um, yeah, Alcarid. Scorpions are here and aggressive, but once again, we have a pretty good selection of ores. Going from gold, coal, myth, everything, pretty much. Um, I'm not sure what combat level you need for the scorpions not to attack, but I'm guessing about 30, maybe. I think it used to double, is it? 28, their level will make them non-aggressive. Um, yeah, so I'll wrap it up here. I reckon it's well worth it to go through with what I was saying to mine um, 113 of each copper and tin, smelt all of them. You should, I'm not sure what your mining level will be, but it will be pretty high, it will be above 20. Um, then smelt them all, make them all into it, and you should have 14 um, smithing. You can then use the Dwarven Stout to make your iron bar for the Knight Sword quest, and after that your smithing will jump heaps. You'll be up to 30 something and you'll be able to make a full iron. Um, I'll leave both those quest um, guides in the description. Um, just, yeah. Um, comment, sub, like, tell me what I'm doing wrong, tell me what I'm doing right, and I'll try to keep making these videos.